Before 1992, at the Jimenez family cookouts or holidays, there was one person at the heart of it all. He was willing to help the people out. Whoever needed help, he was there to give them a hand. To his nine kids, Ernesto Jimenez was more than just their dad. He was their idol and a cornerstone of the community. He was a volunteer fire department for Nogales, Sonora for many years. Uh, he worked for St. Vincent and Paul. And right now we're dealing with Christmas. And my dad would get, get apples and oranges and everything. And, he would donate. Now his family grew with dozens of grand and great grandchildren, most of whom he would never meet. Ernesto's youngest daughter, Yolanda, thinks about what life would have been like. I would have wished my grandkids would have met him because my dad would have loved him. In the 1990s, Ernesto had his own tradition. And he would go to a little cavern down South Six called Quarter Horse. They knew him very well. He had been going there for years, I guess. There was a taco stand where he would cross the street, go eat tacos, cross back, get on the bus, and come home. But December 9th, 1992, was different. At the intersection of Ohio and South 6th Avenue, the air was crisp and cool with temperatures in the 60s. And Ernesto walked across the street to that very taco stand. I lived in California and I came back because um, I knew something was gonna happen. Yolanda was grateful for the six months with her dad. Jimenez was walking here in 1992. Wait. But this crosswalk wasn't even built yet. In fact, the Tucson Department of Transportation says crews just installed it this year. Just then, the family was told the truck drove through the intersection, killing Jimenez almost instantly. They dragged my dad about 50 feet. I did ask the doctor if my dad suffered. The doctor said no, because they hit him and bent him over, and he hit the back of his head which kill him right there. Then the phone call no family wants to receive, but this family did. We were in bed when I got a call about 10 o'clock at night that something had happened to my dad. Ernesto was living with his son Frankie at the time. Me and my dad were very close. I was the baby of the, of the boys. The two had a tradition of eating breakfast together every morning, a memory now cherished by Frankie. But that day, it was different. I go inside his room and I said, no, dad's, grandpa, dad's not here. And I told my sister, what's going on? Tell me. And uh, that's when my sister told me for me to go to uh, University Hospital. The family was told there were three people in the truck. Young kids, about 20 years old. And now came the police details, but the family felt they needed more. I talked to the bartender after the accident and he told me that my dad was there. Despite their best efforts, they didn't get any answers. And it's something that has plagued the family for the last 30 years, memorialized with a cross just feet away from where he died. It took me 10 years for me to pass through the street. The driver didn't just take a man's life. This family says he took the one person who held the family together. Him and my mom were the backbone. Eduardo would like answers. I wish they would come forward now. They're 50 years old. Come on like a man and suffer the consequence. But how would they feel if it would have been their parent? And his sister would like their family to move forward. I just want peace. I just want peace. For now, the case remains cold. In Tucson, Tina Giuliano, Kega 9, on your side.